Hi, welcome to Playing Flute with Mommy. And I am Mommy. And today I will talk about Garibaldi's Etude Opus 132, number 12. I will play in the, in the beginning. this is the beginning and I think you can guess what I what I am going to say um, I think this music is all about floating sound like you are you are um, like a flying something is um, holding yourself you know like some kind of piano wire or something is lifting you so you are just floating your feet are not on the ground so that's that's what I would like to express when I'm playing this music especially in the beginning and there is a there will be the place that is going down you will have very grounded sound but then especially beginning so so this is all about lifting and also reaching. So beginning is like this. Instead of pushing like that, you you are tanging is tiny and you use that your air pressure to reach the uh, first G. And then uh, next second measure has a uh, E flat, high uh, third octave E flat, with um, value is longer than um, big one beat, three beat plus one, uh, because it's a dotted quarter note plus eighth note, so it's longer and it's higher and it's E flat. Don't you like E flat? If you are playing flute, you like E flat because it's a beautiful, uh, very um, mm, sound with a lot of um, harmonics. Just very easy to play E flat. So it's gonna be like. Use a lot of uh, vibrato and just. Um, make uh, everything vibrate around you that's you know your air around here air everything vibrate everything when you play E flat and then later on um, bar 18 measure 18 and um, even it's gonna go higher it's G so um, when you're playing the uh, mm, scale with uh, many flat, many notes with flat, like uh, this is a uh, e, e flat, mm -hmm. e flat major. So it has three flat, like a, a B and B E A have has have a flat. So when you're playing the uh, music with many flat sound, you will use a lot of uh, air. It's easier to play for the, um, because of the structure of flute, nature of flute, this instrument, easier to play the note with flat. Even though these notes, uh, like a E flat, could be D sharp, but it's different when you're playing flat sound. Flat sound tend to be easier to play than sharp sound. I hope it makes sense or I hope you agree. You don't need to agree with me, but that's how I feel. And many people say that too. And anyway, one more time. Floating. 
thing. So it's like you're happy. You're playing this note, very happy, um, cheerful, just enjoy the, this, this note. And it's very uh, attractive for the listener too, because this is the beginning and the second bar already have uh, this, you know, kind of climax and it's gonna have a climax, climax with G, but E flat is pretty high, so it's already, you will catch the listener's ears. And this G, G is low R, but also you can use a lot of, you know, very strong vibrato, deeper vibrato. Not like a, like a regular vibrato, it's more like very, feeling very excited kind of vibrato. that you can think of when you're playing this music number 12 so so that's it for today and i will see you tomorrow bye